Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Bazaar. Last episode, we arrived at Sugar Hill Town. We got into a rap battle and then we took on the gym leaders. We didn't get the badge because we gotta go pick it up because they didn't have one on them. So we're gonna head to the club just over here, the DDB. And we explored this place before, but um, there was a room we couldn't go into, but now that we've got the gym badge, oh. What's going on? No, you can't pass. Only true DDBs have access to that room. Come on, man, it's only for a second. So why do you have to be so stubborn? Oh, Volta, you're here. Look, I know Latouse kicked me out of Interpark and all that, but I can't let them break my pride like that. You know what I mean? One of Interpark's best policemen, fired from his job. <laughs> I can't just leave it at that. As your teacher, I'd be letting you down. Understand? No, I really don't. <laughs> so I got to thinking and bingo. I found a lead I could follow. Stain's former laboratory. And today it's known as DDB's club. There's a room in the back that could contain interesting information, but this guy won't let me in. Didn't anyone teach you manners? Oh, relax, I'm the boss here. Bobby, that room hasn't been used for years. It's fine if someone wants to check it out. But, but Emilicia, uh, we can't let just anyone in. It doesn't matter. Even if we were hiding something important, anyone is welcome to browse through our stuff. See? There's someone who knows how to respect people's individual freedoms. Walk him inside for a second. Let the hospitality be known all over the world. Ugh, fine. Come on, follow me. Okay then. So Bobby has been acting strange since he came back from vacation. Guess he must have had a bad time. Well, back to our main topic. We found the badge. Faulty, your dance style and your fighting have been brilliant. You've proven to be a master in battle. That's why Dogen and I will keep an eye on your journey from now on. Here you go, the duet badge. Ooh. I like it, look good. So I feel like I'm forgetting something. What about you, Dogen, the TM? Well, I imagine you'll want to go to the next gym. You have to go south and take the cable car down. So there you'll have to find a way to cross the ocean. Then you have to set course for Maiden Island. Okay. Oh, well, I got what I was looking for. See ya. What did you get? C can I go in there? Hey, wait, where's Bobby? Is he still in there? Let's take a look. Oh. But hey, didn't you just leave? Voltsy, they hit me from behind. Bobby, that's not Bobby. So what do you mean Bobby's not Bobby? He stole my evidence and ran. Hey, don't joke around. We just saw you leave a few seconds ago. Where's Bobby? And who could that person be? Voltsy, we'll take care of this turkey. You go outside and see if anything unusual is going on. Oh, damn. I feel bad for Nook. I mean, like, he's trying to do a good job, but he's just... It's just something about him is just really annoying. <laughs> Oh, wait. So let me through, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> You're the one who pushed Faulty towards that robot in the ruins. I don't know you. Oh, do you think I'm gonna let you through just like that? All right, I've been waiting to run into you again. No, 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 wait, I'm not that person. See, I'm someone else. Oh, what the hell? That suit is so cool. Wait, what? <laughs> Where'd you get it? <laughs> well, I made it myself. Took, a, took me a lot of work to develop it. Now, can you let me through? Wait, there's Faulty. Oh, I lost my chance to escape because of that idiot. You saw it all, didn't you? So anyway, my name is Kero, Kero Ro. I'm an ACP intelligence agent. That man, Nook, we knew he was up to something. That's why I was sent to track him down. Thanks to my Kecleon 3000 exosuit, I can infiltrate any building. Impersonating a member of this club was a piece of cake. At first I thought I could prevent the inspector from entering at Stain's office. But that didn't work out. So I had to knock him out and delete all the data from the PC. Although luckily I saved a backup. I imagine you were after the information that was on Stain's old PC. <laughs> but well, c come and get it here if you want. No, oh, I don't want to fight. C come on, I'm not afraid of you. Come if you dare. <laughs> they were like, okay. <laughs> Think we're scared of you? Not a chance. Well, that suit, it looks like um. Like in the suit, like uh, they use in movies, where the actors put on the green suit and then they, you know, they're like they're the animation of something. But anyway, uh, let's. Oh, I probably should switch, but yeah, let's just switch. I was gonna go for like Dark Pulse or like Sun uh, Shadow Ball, but let's go Sun Flora, and then we'll go for. Let's go for a Quiver Dance. Okay, that's that's not good. <laughs> All right, uh, let me heal up, and then we'll try that again. Uh. Yeah, movement milk should be fine. I just can't get flinched. Although I'm pretty sure I die. So I need to... 
Oh, okay. And poison. All right. I'm gonna have to heal up one more time, and then if I take too much damage, I have to switch out again. Oh, you got a critical hit, and then you poison me after I just put restored. All right, I can't. Just, just do this. That's so annoying. This dummy sucks. It's fine. Me thunderbolt ya. Oh, it's a Zorak. Okay then. Well then, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, kick Leon. We'll go for a scold. Got the burn. Sick. And now you're water type. And then we'll go for a thunderbolt. <laughs> good, good. And Starmie, hopefully our speed your Thunderbolt. No, we don't. It's fine, it's fine. We'll go to Crobat and we'll overdrive you. Not bad. One more attack. Wait, was that it? Is that what you had? Nice. Ah, it's all going down the drain. Damn it. I don't even know why I keep trying uh, direct confrontations. No matter, I have an ace up my sleeve. Saying that the ACP always has an ace up its sleeve is gonna become a cliche. <laughs> now flash! Oh, response UAV, see ya! Oh, and they're gone. Ah, what was that? Can't see anything. Vault to you, okay? Doesn't look like anything happened to you. So that was one of the ACP. Oh, what was he doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Well, I don't really care. I was on my way to see the leaders. I wanna get my badge. We're moving up in the world, aren't we? Okay, let's go let him know that, you know, Nook's innocent. Ah, Volt's you, okay? Did you get the evidence back? Some weird dude blinded us with a bright light and ran away. He had a very cool suit. So it wasn't Bobby after all. I thought he'd returned uh, too soon from his vacation. Y you're okay, aren't you? That other time, I shouldn't have left you against that robot. I didn't want anything serious to happen this time. Don't tell me. And now? They got me from behind just when I started looking at what was on the uh, computer. So anything I was able to see is an email. Seemed to be someone staying contacted some time ago. That's the only clue we have. I don't get it. Where the hell is the ACP hiding? Because of their portals, it's almost impossible to know where they may be hiding. Well, we're all good then, aren't we? I mean, you see that, Dogen? Look what they're showing on TV. They finally put on something that isn't crap. Oh. Breaking news! Seems that sightings of strange portals continue to spread throughout Kuntelis. As described by witnesses, these appear to be formed by some kind of golden ring surrounded by a dark abyss. Numerous people have already been affected throughout the region. One of them has been two inhabitants of Beetletown. Hello, Miss Robinson. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Can you comment on your experience with these portals? One of those things had already grabbed my husband twice. The first one was while he was fooling around on Mount Uriel and the portal appeared right behind him. But then, while we were cooking, another portal appeared on the sink and took him away. It had a purple glow and it also went BOOM! It was so loud I thought the region went to war again. Ooh. He was later found lying in uh, Bangor City in front of a building. Thank you very much for your kind words, Miss Robinson. None of those affected by these mysterious portals is Andy, a member of the YMCA. Good morning, Andy. Where is she? I don't see her. Sir, she's talking to talk to you through the earpiece. Are you talking to me with this mystic arts? What the, what the hell is going on? How do I get home? It's colder than at my aunt Marissa's wedding. Andy, sorry, can you tell us about your experience with portals? There's that voice again! Who's talking to me? I should never have uh, drank that cactus juice. First the portals, and now there's voices in my head? I just want to go home. Uh, well, Andy, thank you for your kind words. <laughs> well then. Wow, Volta, did you see that? The Robinsons are on TV. It was like they're famous now. Oh, what a disaster. Can't people just sit still? It's so easy to research other things, and they just had to choose portals. Do these scientists realize all the problems they're causing with all these inventions? And are these portals dangerous? Could any monstrous critters appear from them? Volts and I got into one and nothing really happened. Actually, as long as you manage to get out in time, you should be okay. Well, we have a clue. Voltsy, I'm going home to see if I can find out uh, more about that email. Believe it or not, I'm a master hacker. A technological prodigy, yeah, sure. I live on an island located to the south. Just head near Maiden Island. Come by and help me. Maybe we can find something. Was that Yes Island when we looked at the map last episode? But well, I didn't understand any of that. Amicia Dogen, I'm here to challenge you. Never fight? Well, get ready. We're gonna eat you like rice with tomato sauce. Well, okay, let's dance to the rhythm. Volta, you go ahead. I'll catch you on, catch you on the way. 
I've trained hard, this gym will be a piece of cake. Ooh, that's ballsy, sent in front of the gym leaders there. Rice with tomato sauce, that doesn't, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> right, uh, let me get healed up, and then we'll start heading south. And see what we can pick up on the way. I might, when we get to the next place, just fly around to some previous areas to see if we can maybe do some side quests that I think we've missed. But we'll see, we'll see. Alright, so down we go to... Oh, cable car, not Route 12. Oh, it's you again. Hey, Samira. I was thinking of leaving. I'm not very comfortable around here. It's too much mental drama. The cable car is further ahead. Maybe it'll, I'll take it and go to Queen City. I haven't been to Open Work Swamp for a long time. I don't know what the people at the bar will say after such a long time. Maybe I should go back. They might be worried. Although before that, I want to fight. You, Foltsy. I want to fight. I want to see how you beat Emanesia and Dogen. Maybe if we fight, I'll be able to find what I'm missing. All right, bring it on. So I know you did some training with the uh, the Elite Four member. Let's see how much tough you got. So Grumpy, that's Shadow Ball. And you set up a light screen. That's not good. If we can get the defense drop, that would have been sick, but uh, I'm going to go for Swagger. Hopefully you can hurt yourself a couple times, we're gonna go for Heat Wave. I really want that light screen to end. There you go, nice. And we missed, great. I think after this turn, the light screen ends. Light screen faded, okay, cool. Now how much damage can we do? I'm starting to think it's not gonna be a lot, and can we just land the attack? Well, I'm gonna switch, cause I, can I even switch with the- No, I can't switch because we haven't got the same ability, but let's go Ledian. So I believe you're a dark type. Well, you're water type now. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Let's just go Comet Punch. Ooh, got a nice crit in there. Just wanna keep on- You're psychic type now, actually, yeah, so Comet Punch will be best. And we're gonna miss, of course. It's fine, it's fine. I know your evasion is like high, but it's still so annoying. Oh, come on. Just land the attack. This clamp damage is annoying as well. Oh, dude, come on, please. Please just land the attack. That's four in a row we've missed. Can we make it five? Let's make it five. Hey! Oh, didn't really do much. <laughs> I thought we might do a little bit more. But this is great, you full restored. This is gonna be the longest fight ever. Oh, double crit. That's actually pretty good. Please, please don't heal up again. Come on, come on. If Comet Punch can hit five times, Oh, another full restore, why? Why, why, why? I'm gonna run out of PP on Comet Punch soon, I know I am. How much have I got left? Four. Oh, I hit five times. That's not great. All right, you're fighting type now, so let's go Fairy Fists. Oh, dude, I'm never landing these attacks. All right, back to Psychic. Comet Punch, oh my god, land the attack. Four times, alright. I swear, if you full restore a third time, I'm going to cry. Alright, very fist now that you're fighting. Dude. <laughs> oh, hope you guys are buckled in for the longest fight you've ever seen in, in Pokemon ever. This is longer than the Metapod first Metapod. Who's gonna run out of PP first? <laughs> right, I'm gonna go into uh, Accordion. And I'm gonna try and go for a Hyper Voice. You know what? Would Perish still work? Oh, Destiny Bond, okay. Come on. I'm not sure if Perish Song can miss. 
Oh, come on, dude. Oh, I'm never, ever getting out of this fight. I'm never getting out of this fight. Does nothing. Right, so you ghost type now, so we'll go for a bite. And it doesn't matter because we're going to miss. Right, I'm going to cut to when we finish killing Wabafet because I, I legit think we're going to probably be sitting here for like 20 minutes. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, they switched out. I'll take that. I'll take that. So the Wabafet will come back out soon. Oh, maybe go for another bite, but it's fine. It's fine. Right, bite. Bring that Wabafet back out. I know all the stat stuff is reset and we'll be good. Oh yeah, Mega. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to sneeze in a second. <laughs> Bless me. Whew. All right. One more. Oh, I'm not going to speed you because of the stupid speed boost. All right. What to go for? What to go for? Let's go Spiritomb. And we Heat Wave you. Nice. I'm not looking forward to this one with again. Cramoran. Uh, oh, you're... Um, you're flying ground. I'm gonna leak seed ya. I did a lot more than I thought. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Giga Drain. Ooh, I don't know if that's enough to live. Ooh, 5 HP! Oh, that was close. That was very close. Thunderbolt, uh. I'm not gonna get Thunderbolt because. We don't need any electric moves, we've got plenty. <laughs> we really do. Alright, Spirit Tomb. And we're Heat Wave. Never mind. Oh, man, you got this. Just, uh, hope I can pedo you. And I flinched. Great. You know what? Maybe Skull just better here. Burn it. This fight is tough. No, I don't think it's that tough. I think it's just that Wobbuffet really just drained us. This fight should have been so much easier, but I'm full of stars as well. Got the burn, sick. And then one more skull finish you off. Nice. And then Wobbuffet's coming back out. Got the burn. Oh, there you go. That's all we needed, that burn. That burn just gonna... Woo, take you out, and we're good. Oh, finally. Finally, this fight's over. Man, that was awful. So you're good. You're really good. It makes me angry, because I'm having fun in these battles. But I know that I don't really have time for this uh, nonsense. So look what the cat dragged in. It's been a lifetime since we've seen you. Oh, that Manicia Dogen, what are you doing here? Nothing. We forgot to give Voltsy a couple of TMs as a gift. So we came running. So, how's my sister doing? Is she still spreading the word? Ah, Cooper is doing well. Although I haven't uh, been to the bar for a while, I guess I should be uh, getting back now. Leaving already? You never come by, and when you do, you don't even say hello. You're leaving faster than a uh, barracuda. Well, let's do what we came here for. What did I get? Ice Beam! Nice. And f oh, Flamethrower is good, I'm getting ready, Heat Wave. One from Dogen and one from me. With these, you'll never lose. By the way, Samira, your battling style is amazing. We saw you against Voltsy and you moved like a gymnast. No, her battle style is annoying! <laughs> Isn't that right, Dogen? Mm, I don't know. Well, we're in a hurry. We have a kid waiting for a battle. Samira, you should come out, come hang out at DDB's again and we'll have a little fight. You bring Cooper, I'll call Faye and we'll have a good time. I don't know if Faye will want to see me. No excuses, you're coming. Well, let's head back. Do you think I'm good at training Pokemon? No! <laughs> anyway, Emanesia made my itch for battle even stronger. Anyway, I have to go. Voltsy? Nah, never mind. I'll see you around. Alright, see ya. Alright, uh, first let's teach Flamethrower before I forget. Flamethrower's gonna be good. Flamethrower. Right. Get rid of Heat Wave. It's just that 90 accuracy just sucks. Doesn't feel like 90. On a heat wave, it always feels like it's 20. <laughs> right, so we're gonna get healed up and then we'll head south and. Oh, did not mean to go to this house. My bad. Yeah, we'll head south and take the cable car. Mm, I, 
don't think I need any supplies just yet. But maybe probably want to think about getting some soon. So I've got a few like milk, milks left and, and whatnot. But that fight took so long, that one effect. I'm so glad they switched out because otherwise <laughs> would have been even longer. Oh, it was so boring. Um, hi. So the cable car ride, it really makes me sick. There's something about the pressure change that doesn't feel right. Oh, okay. What's it supposed to do? I don't even uh, know what to put on the maps anymore. What? Okay. Uh, and to think that there are people who don't feel like going up from the bay. Hiking is so fun. Yes, well, it takes longer. Dom, it'll make you as strong as Alexander Kalen? I don't know who that is. Right. Uh, yo. Oh, that night in September brings back so many memories. Remember it perfectly well. It's on. Do you remember? The 21st night of September. Oh, such a good song. Uh, do you want to use the cable car? Yes, I do. All right, step into the booth. I love what I can get the references, man. But attention, the cable car will be leaving in two minutes. Okay. Oh. Excuse me, do you mind if I sit here with you? I just wanted to talk about something. Let's get going. I'm sorry to interrupt the uh, tranquility of this uh, trip and, well, I understand that my presence is uncomfortable after what happened a little while ago, but there are times when I would like to share things with others, but I don't usually have the courage to talk about it with people close to me. In the end I always end up hiding what is happening to me. I came to talk to you because I saw you and you caught my attention. What motivates you? What are your dreams? I guess in the end it could be as simple as you just doing others a favour, or it's simply because you think it's the right thing to do. Oh that's right, I didn't introduce myself properly before. My name is Eva. Right now, for one reason or another, I'm collaborating with the ACP. Although I don't want to talk about that right now, going back to what I said before, I wanted to talk about dreams. People create their own realities to escape from the one they live in. A fictitious world that people create in their heads. A way to avoid what we must face, to avoid reality. Some good, some bad. And in the end, we always remember them with nostalgia when they are over. We try to retrieve them uh, either because we don't remember them or because they help to divert us from the problems and stress of the real world. When they end, we always try to stay in that dream. Sometimes we also transfer them to our lives, to the real world. I've always believed that I've been guilty of that for a long time. I live in a dream and now I'm aware of it. A dream arising from a feeling of guilt and responsibility. Day after day, I try to maintain that dream, for I no longer know how to wake up and return to the real world. And even knowing that, dreams come to an end. I'm afraid to accept it. I cling to this dream that I have set up just to not have to take a step forward. A goal that, in the real world, no longer makes sense to pursue. But I've gotten used to living in it, and now I don't want to leave. I think the end of my dream is closer than I thought, and it scares me. The cable car has arrived at its destination. You can get off now. Thank you very much for listening to me, Voltsy. Will you continue to pursue the ACP? Of course I will. Then I believe we'll meet again. I hope the next time I can wake up and, well, hopefully you won't have to put up with me for much longer. Well then. So where are we now? Route 12, perhaps? I forgot to bring a spare set of clothes. Now when I go up to the cable car, I'm going to freeze. Yeah, oh yeah you are. Do you know that uh, coconut water has many properties? It says so in the magazine. What do you say? So I believe it. <laughs> but new chapter. Chapter 9. Cool, cool water. Oh. <laughs> All right then. So Fairy Bay. Hey Voltsy, you're here. I was waiting for you so you wouldn't get lost. My home is on Yes Island. All you have to do is uh, go to Route 12 and turn right. To get there you'll need surf. And well, to do that you'll need a surfboard. You should go check out the store near here. If they charge you anything, I'll pay for it. Oh wow. Or maybe they'll give you a stunfisk. If not, capture one, train it and write it. Well, Voltsy, I'll be waiting for you at home and I'll let you know if I find anything about that email from the laboratory. See you later. Do we have to catch a stunfisk or... We're gonna get a surfboard. They say that Havano, the leader of Bangor City, used to train by jumping from a tree to tree with his Pokemon. No wonder he's so agile. Oh, uh, looking for a way to travel on water? My friend El Jose has some great stunfisk you can surf on. Should uh, check out his store. Okay, oh, the stump is new! <laughs> Should take advantage of the uh, sun and get a tan, my friend. These muscles have to darken and better reflect light. 
Okay, uh, do you think there are sharpedos in the water? I'm scared of those things. Me too, man. And the water is cold. Yeah, the water doesn't- the coldness doesn't bother me, but... The sharpedo? Absolutely. Right, uh, so... Oh, we can go up here. Ooh. Splash plate! Not bad, not bad. Alright, let's go and get our surfboard. Uh, yo! So what brings you here? I'm El Jose, a famous surfer, master of planetary aquatic navigation. Tell me, are you looking for a way to cross the vast sea? I might have something for you. My stun fists are the best. The best, the best, the best of the best. I'll sell you one for only 3,000 poker dollars. It's a, it's a bargain, isn't it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, that's a great choice. Here, take it. We got a surf fisk. <laughs> the flying stun fisk. Uh, Alright, good luck out there. Ooh, a refreshing drink always feels good after a good swim. And you know what feels even better? Poker brisker. Uh, I'm good, but... Thank you. So let's uh, start surfing down to Yes Island. Gonna try and like explore as much as we can, but the lighter bits you can't go over. So we'll just explore what we can. Oh sweet, so you can find stuff in the little dirt piles here. Hey, how are you doing? Is everything okay? Are your Pokemon okay? Oh, we get healed up. Fantastic. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, and if we're going to be fighting some water types, with any luck, Cosmomanda can just like Thunderbolt everything. Hopefully. Hey, are you using a surface because cheating? No, it's not. What you got for us? Sea King! Oh, you're going to have Lightning Rod, aren't you? No, you're not! Sweet! Haha! <laughs> Ooh, sometimes Sea Kings can be very dangerous, and sometimes they can just suck. <laughs> uh, Magnet Rise. No, I'm good. Alright, what else? Relic camp? I guess we can stay in. Nice! I guess it's probably been better to go for like a Giga Drain, but I mean, still one shot at with Thunderbolts, so we good. I might pop the repellent a little bit. I'm gonna see what we can find first. Go for like two more encounters. Uh, nothing around here. Oh, wait, you got Nugget? Sweet. Got one little thing on the- Oh, uh... Hey, oh. What are you doing here? Hey, do you think these two are okay? They should work well. Baobab goes with Paloma. This aren't drives. Volti, what are you doing here? We're here watching half the band drown. <laughs> Baobab and Paloma went diving a while ago and have not come out yet. According to Baobab, there is an impressive singer under the sea. The thing is that they don't- uh, they haven't come out. My bet is that they haven't been devoured by a whale lord. I think any coat that eats Baobab would throw up. Oh, good point. Let's see if this bath serves as a shower for once. Foldsy, if you find a way, could you go find them? I think on Maiden Island at the fishing project there was someone selling a wetsuit. Maybe with that, someone can go down to look for him. Maiden Island, uh... That's all the way south, isn't it? But now we got surf, maybe we can, like... Go from here, surf across down to Mikalash Island. That's I know one place we need to go to. But yeah, all the way down there. So we have to come back for this. Uh I can go west to Queen City. I'm not sure if there's any of our surf places. There's lots to check out. I'm gonna pop this for a time. Cause there's a few little islands we can check out. Ooh. Let's fight you. Hey, watch where you're surfing. You watch where you're surfing. Well, swimming. <laughs> Alright, Thunderbolt ya. Luckily not Zorak this time. That's going to give us some problems. Go on, one shot the crawl on. One shot the crawl on. Nice. Good job. Okay. Ooh. Yo. What are, you, uh, what are you buying? What are you selling? You know what, maybe it's a good time to buy some stuff now. Let's get 10 revives. I don't get too much. In case we need money later on, but... Just some stuff... Would be good. Yeah. Are you fine? I think I saw an item to the left over here. By the painter, yeah. These landscapes, there's blue sea. Definitely in a good place for inspiration. Ooh, okay. 
You want to show me some new like regionals? That'd be sick. Uh, that's fine. Let's scold ya. Not bad. And victory bell. Ooh. I would stay and just go for ice beam, but I feel like that wouldn't kill ya. I'm fairly certain flamethrower will. Oh, it's so, oh, there you go. That will do. I was like, it's so weak, but the burn BB. Burn coming in clutch. Ice punch. Uh, yes. I'm gonna get a U turn. We know the punches are good for Ledian. Oh, you earn all the punches now. Uh. I'm gonna get. Uh, I, do, I feel like I should keep these, because. Oh, no, I think the, the elemental punch will be so much more better. It's just more consistent as well, the damage, because we could hit two times the punches, not do much. I think that's, I think that's the best. Nice. But if we learn like a, I don't know, a new move, like a bug punching move, like a strong one, or fairy one, then yeah, definitely gotta put that on 100%. Rose incense, sick. There's another die spot there, so there's a few die spots. So when we get dive, we definitely have to come back and do a little bit of exploring. Got big pearl, sick. Hey, oh, ah, the sound of the sea. Reminds me of when I trained with explosive. Oh, I wonder how, what he's doing now. Ah, uh, he's like the leader of the, um, of a little gym. He, he killed some dude, so he's definitely a murderer. Because <laughs> he legit just straight up, like, turned someone to <laughs> Oh, I think it was, I think it was like two episodes ago, three episodes, no, but three, four episodes ago if you want to watch the uh, side quest. Oh, it's funny. It's good. Alright, uh, hi. How's it going? I'm testing a special device to protect me from different climates. So far it's working well. I'll take a free sample. Multi-purpose parasol. Never say no to free stuff, man. Free stuff is best stuff. Oh, we, oh yeah, east here. This should take us to Yes Island. Nice. Uh, let me check the outside first. Oh. Okay, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh. I was thinking it was going to be just like one house or something, but another dive spot. Uh. I'll start over here. I do not work in the mine, but I take care of the finances, so I'm going to take the opportunity to rest for a while. These islands may be trash, but they're pretty trash. Sure. There's a mine here, but I've got a message from the boss. Why won't he leave me alone? I won't come back until I get a pay rise. No? Okay. I'm telling your boss that, not me. So this has got to be his house, sure. It's like a nice little house. That's a maid's bed, man. Oh. Oh, Volta, you're here. I thought you wouldn't be here for a few more hours. I was, uh, reflecting a bit. Whose tomb is that? Uh, yeah, what about the grave? I guess... You realised it. Obviously. Okay, Volta, I guess I can tell you a little bit about my past. Anyway, it's something I want to tell you. You see, when I entered into Pog, I was always accompanied by a Pokemon. It was a beware, and, well, you could say it was my best friend. It was the main reason I was able to become a member of the police force. I was neither the strongest nor the most agile. A mastermind like me can't be flawless. <laughs> we all have our flaws. Do you follow me? Never had what it takes to be a cop. It was only thanks to Beware and my lip service that I was able to secure a good position as, a, as an inspector. But I've always been irresponsible. Story time. So I think you misunderstand what's going on here. Hey, take it easy. I think you might have anger issues, am I right? You should, uh, try drink- oh, let's get him! Uh oh. Maybe we should talk about this like civilized people. We can't let either of them escape. They could tell everyone where our hideout is located. But beware, I think we should go. Oh. But wait, we both have to go. I'm not leaving uh, you here alone. Aw. Let's get the bear! Sad, man. Anyway. In the end, I didn't learn anything. I'm a coward and that's my true nature. And now I'm taking advantage of you to try and complete my cases. 
and I've ended up putting a child in danger several times. Sorry again about the ruins. I found information about email. If you want, I'll explain it to you at home. Then I won't ask you to help me anymore, okay? Nah, nah, I'll definitely help. Uh, okay, so... Let's go and find out about this email. Look, faulty. It appears that this email belongs to a gentleman named Roberto Guido. Appears to be a NASA scientist. Don't know what his relationship with Stain might be, but it is certainly the only proof I have. Yet another job well done from the amazing Nook. <laughs> anyway, now I guess I'll go to the Interpoc offices and see if they'll let me in. This is better than nothing, and maybe they'll readmit me in everything. I'm going to end up turning out to be a real outstanding cop. The next gym is located to the south, on Maiden Island. They say that Shug, the leader, is a person with the most brute force in the region. Be careful facing him. Well, I gotta go. Thank you. Faulty. Okay. Right, we'll definitely explore the rest of uh, Yes Island first before we go. Just in case we can get some free stuff. There's a dude here. Uh, hi. Ah, this is the life. Oh yeah, the sweet smell of freedom. You understand me, don't you? Running away from your responsibilities is cool. <laughs> uh, only for a little while, and then when they catch up to you, it's, it's not good. But since we're on strike, I'm taking a walk. Walking helps me reflect. We keep working and working, all with the aim of holding on to life. But at some point, the final blow of death will come. I think I've gotten a little deep. Uh, I'd better go think about kittens. Meow. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi. Don't actually work here, I'm just pretending to work here. Maybe when the strike is over, they'll think that I, I really belong to this company and they'll give me a job. Um, I'm not sure that's how it works, but okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Big Mud. I'm a DJ. I'm sure you've seen some, uh, some of my posters around. Lately I've been having a lot of fun with my new theme. Here, I'll play it for a bit. Oh, oh, I've had this song. What a great song. Listen to this while using it zooms and make me feel like I'm in another dimension. Do you know what zooms are? They're special mushrooms from Temptation Town. They're amazing. Would you like some? If you want, I'll give you some to try. I can sell you some if you want more. Look, eat it first so, so that it uh, reaches your stomach quickly. Oh. It has quite the kick, no? You should sit down. Close your eyes. Feel the slugs make contact. Let the slugs talk to you. <laughs> what? Hello, human. By using this mental dimension, we can communicate with anyone who's currently using Zooms. I'm a slug. This is my avatar. What's good, everyone? I'm here. I see you already met the slug. Look, man, this is my avatar. Isn't it cool? By using Zooms, we can establish mental connections and communicate in an extra-dimensional state. This way, we can talk to people from all parts of the region. My goal is to get out of this region and make my music famous all over the world. My next target is Genova, man. Come on, Big Mud. Get going already. Oh, and another one has joined the other to our dimensional mid session. The oh, here's a Mr. Robinson. I see they still aren't sitting well with you. Mr. Robinson, you have to buy a new chair for your back. If you have a little need for sugar, you should always have some munchies by your side. Of course, you have to be well prepared when using zooms. Otherwise, the spiritual photosensors in your body won't be able to store all the spirit energy. Yeah, yeah, sure, all that stuff, man. Ah, oh, yes, that's true. Well, we're out of power, slug. It's our turn to leave. See you, friends. You know, if you want more extra-dimensional experiences, come to me. Okay. Uh, well, that was cool. I like you. Take some zooms as a gift. Right. Okay, if you want more zooms, I can sell you some of them. <laughs> this game is just... I don't care anymore, I quit. They really want me to be modest, well-intentioned, diligent. No, no, no. I don't intend to be the perfect slave. I'm out of here. Who am I kidding? I need this job. <laughs> oh, man, when I was working, I was like, screw this job, but go to work anyway. <laughs> uh, what's this? Are you going into the mine? There's only a few people inside, you know, because of the strike. Well, there are very interesting things there either. There are a couple of bad guys messing with the machinery, but it doesn't look like we're going to be busy anytime soon. Me? I'm striking the strike. I'm tired of being tired. Fair enough. Uh, he's got this. Why won't you just all go back to work? Oh, okay. Uh, are you naked? Well, I went bald because of the radioactive waste. At least that's what I want to believe. Don't know if there are radioactive elements in the area. Okay, so let's just check out the mine and then we're good. Yes, mine. Uh, my chest hurts from doing nothing. I'm in a static loop. Grow a moss on my head, the strike is going to have consequences for me. Right, okay. Got Dragon Fang, nice. 
Oh, what kind of Pokemon can we find in here? Probopass. Pass. No, thank you. Ugh, oh, what a drag, really. You should also go on strike. I could go on vacation for a few days. I could go to, I don't know, Cream Town. It's said to be pretty quiet. That's all right. Oh, danger. Got a metal coat. Uh, it is assumed that on the other side was a passageway into the interior of the factory. Fortunately, there was a landslide and it's not possible to pass. I wanted to dynamite the entrance, but maybe I'll, I'll ruin everything. I think there was another, there was an underwater cave on the other side. Oh, okay, so we have to come back here when we get dive then. Which ain't gonna be probably till next episode. Just wanna save the game, like maybe try and hit the switch in case something happened. Oh, another item, sweet, got a nugget. Our last person is big two. Not before we get into a fight. Oh, I can't get left, man. So sick. But pff, this cave smells terrible. I can see. I can't see anything. Don't remember where the exit is. It's not that like I want to go on strike. I just don't know where to get out. I'm lost. <laughs> well then, sucks for you. But I think it's a very great place to end this part off. And we're gonna get into a fight just before we leave. We got the swords. Yeah. Great place to end this part off. Next episode, we'll make our way to uh, Maiden Island. Go and get the next gym badge, and then we'll get uh, Dive, and then we can go explore a lot of areas with Dive. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.